Hey, it's Brenda with Flukes, and I have a great opportunity to show you on the SoNet software. So I had a request from a good friend of mine that said, hey, can you please embroider on a jeans jacket, Mrs. Johnson, because the young lady is getting married and that she wanted established 2023 because she's getting married this year. Well, embroidering on a jeans jacket can be a little bit daunting, but when you have the SoNet software, there's an easy way to make sure that this turns out. So let's take a look. As you can see, I've got the design queued up. I've got Mrs. Johnson and established 2023. We know how to do that. We just simply go into our fonts, type it, select it. You can see I've put it at an angle. I've got two fonts, no big deal. This is where the fun starts. Let's take a view. You can see I'm going up to the view tab here at the top. I'm clicking on it. And it says, let's look at the background wizard. I selected it. I'm going to add a new background. So what I've done is I went out onto the internet and I found a picture of a jeans jacket and you can see it right here. I'm going to load it into my software. There's the jeans jacket. I'm gonna say next. I don't need to rotate or crop. As you can see, I'm right up against the sleeve. So I'm good with the size. And this is where some of the magic starts. I need to make sure that this jeans jacket is the same size as the one I'm going to embroider on. So I'm taking the arrow and I am moving it to measure the width of the jacket inside that crazy double seam. Because we both know that if I embroider over those double seams, there's going to be an issue. So. I measured the actual jacket and found that the space between here was nine inches. So I can go over here and type in, now this is in millimeters. So I happen to know that when I go into millimeters here, I'm gonna be about, I think 236 will give me about nine inches. Let's see, 9.29, ah, let's go down a little bit. All right, let's see what I've got now. 9.18, I'm gonna go, cause I need to be pretty exact because I don't want to stitch over those crazy seams. 9.09, .09, just a little bit smaller. 9.01, I can live with that. So I know that I've got available space of nine inches here and that's the actual size of the actual jacket. I'm gonna hit next. I'm going to file this jacket because I'd like to maybe use this again under my garments. You see the category here. I'm going to hit finish. All right. So, oh, what? Look at this. So the jacket is projected on the software screen. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see the full effect. Okay. You saw I went down here in the lower right corner to change not my design, but I changed my view. Now I need to move this jacket around. So I'm going right up here where it says move and rotate background. So now I'm not moving my design, but I am moving the jacket. So I can move it around to where I want this design to be. And I can see where it's going to fit. Well, I want this. I don't want this too low on the jacket. I want it about here. And I can see that now my design that I've chosen with my, my two fonts, that fits in that area because this is the actual size of the jacket and the actual size of the design. And I think what's nice is you can see the hoop that it, as an embroiderer, that really kind of makes me comfortable to know that I'm well within that stitching area on the hoop. Now, I'm gonna show you something else. I thought this looks pretty good, but whenever you do something like this for someone else, which I rarely do, but she's a good friend, I like to proof it. Let me show you how to do that. Up to the top left, I'm going to my home tab. And I'm going to look at the life view. And when I click on that, I need to make this smaller. Okay, so we can see the whole thing. Okay, look at that. I can see what the garment looks like with the design. So they can proof and say, yeah, I like that font. Or maybe they don't. Okay, but this is what's fun. When I have this picture of the garment with the stitching on it, I can go down here and I can see where it says share the picture. I'm clicking on share the picture and I'm going to save it. And when I save that picture, I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And under the picture, I'm going to call it denim. 
It says picture. Let me get. Let me go back space here. Denim. And I'm going to go jacket. Okay, close enough. All right. And you see it's a JPEG. So it is truly a picture. It has nothing to do with the software or anything like that. They'll be able to open up a JPEG on their computer. So I saved a picture of this design on the jacket. So now what I can do is, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. I can simply go into the email program on my computer and email that photograph. So the bride can look at it and proof it and say, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And then I'm ready to stitch out. So I've got her agreement that the size is good, the position is good, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is a real good way to do a project, make sure it's going to fit on your garment, and then stitch it out appropriately. So another great video for you to share and learn. And until next time, it's Brenda with Luke's.